Previously on Naraji's Nook, I showed you 11 DIYs from cardboard boxes. For today's video, let's get right into it. Showroom. hello beautiful people so welcome back again to my channel my name is nora g so without wasting any more of your time we're going right into it so for this diy i'll be using charger plates of course like my previous charger plates diy series however this time i will be using the front part of the charger plate not the back i've had a lot of you ask me why i'm not using the front so today i'm going to show you how you can use the front as well these are some mirrors that I also got from the dollar store, which I will be using for this DIY. It is a pretty straightforward DIY, so just keep watching. And of course, besides the basic three items, we will be needing some glue, some black spray paint, and also some gold spray paint. Now let's get right into it. Okay, so now that we're a little bit more familiar with each other as we continue with our DIY, if you're new to this channel, I would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my family. Okay, for my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for always coming back. Alright, so let's carry on. To get started, I am using some tacky glue over the front part of the charger plate. So I'll be applying a generous amount of tacky glue all over the front part of the charger. And also I would like you to keep in mind that you can use Mod Podge for this same application. It does not necessarily have to be um, tacky glue like I am currently using. Okay, so that is an alternative to this. So just watch as I do this. Another alternative to tacky glue and Mod Podge would be a Gorilla Glue Spray, um, the, the spray glue. So that is actually quite fast to use. So you could use that as well for this project. Alright, so our next step will be to pour sand over our fresh glue. Alright, so you want to make sure that your glue is still pretty much fresh because you want your sand to stick onto it right away, okay? So this is not going to cure right away, however, so you will have to set aside for this to cure properly. So first things first, I am spreading the sand all over the plate to make sure that I have a good coat. I only did one coat of this for the sand. I didn't want it to be too thick. It's up to you if you want to make this thicker. I am doing this because I just wanted to disguise the whole charger plate idea so that your wall art doesn't show charger plate, obviously, okay? So I wanted some texture and I am getting texture by using sand and glue. So this is what it will look like once you've put a generous amount of sand over it. Just watch as I complete this. Yeah, I could easily have used um, some hand gloves to do this, but trust me, gloves and glue do not mix very well, okay? You can easily wash off your hands or wash glue off your hands than you can actually do while using um, hand gloves, okay? So, yes, I'm using my bare hands, all right? <laughs> well, I am doing a second plate and I'll go ahead to do for the rest of the plates. I'm not going to show you all that, obviously, to save you some time because I know your time is important. However, what I'm trying to show here is that um, you could use your bottle. I'm using my tacky glue bottle to hold down my charger plate while I spread um, my glue over the, the plate, okay? So you could use maybe uh, um, another paint brush, just something, okay, to hold it down in the middle because you would not be able to do so with your bare hands, all right? It may be very difficult for you to do so. So use something, anything, to hold it down in the middle while you apply your glue, okay? Just an FYI. And hey, it doesn't necessarily have to be black sand, okay? I just happen to have tumbled on black sand. Any sand would do because you will be spray painting this and it would not matter what color sand you use, okay? Well, behind the scenes, I went ahead and did the rest of the charger plates and then set aside for it to dry properly. 
Good, so now our charger plates are properly dry, I will go ahead to spray paint this using my matte black spray paint, okay? You can use whatever color you want. However, while this is drying on the side, the spray paint, I will go ahead to get started with our mirrors, okay? Now, for our Dollar Tree mirrors, I will be using gold spray paint over this. But first, I will be using this Saran Wrap to actually close out the area of the mirror. Only because the way these mirrors are made, you cannot take out the mirrors successfully, easily. Trust me, it's gonna break. I have tried that, okay? So I make the mistake so you do not have to. So I'll be using the Saran Wrap to cover that area. So when I spray paint this, I do not have to worry about the mirror area. So just watch as I do this. Are you still watching? Wow, you are amazing. Thank you so much for watching right up to this point. And if you're a Nerdy's Nook fan, then you know what's about to come. So if you've watched right up to this point, I would love it if you can comment black and gold in the comment section to show your girl some love. That's how we roll on this channel, guys. Yes, so if you're new here, that's what we do on Nerdy's Nook. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's continue. So next, I'll be spray painting this gold, as you can see. So I'm letting this dry out properly, the spray paint scent, I want that all gone before I will go ahead with the next stage of our DIY which is now. It is time to put it all together so just stick with me to the end of this video to see the final outcome, okay? So our charger plate, spray paint check, sand check and now it's time to put them together. Alright, so I love how this turned out so far. And I will be using some Jenga blocks to actually elevate the mirror on the charger plate because of the dip in the middle part of our chargers. I am using hot glue to put this together. However, I do strongly recommend you use some E6000 glue or Gorilla glue as well alongside your hot glue to fortify this for longer term. Okay guys, before we continue with our DIY, as you would have seen from the start of this video, this video is sponsored by our friends at Dozier, okay? So right now they currently have Black Friday sales going on, so you do not want to miss out on that. They currently have a bunch of sales going on from 20 right up to 50% off. You do not want to miss out on the best Black Friday deals ever on luxury perfumes. This is how you look bougie on a budget, okay? How to smell rich on a budget. If you want to try that, make sure to check our friends out at Dozier. Link will be found in the description box below, so make sure to check it out. And now back to our DIY. Let's finish putting this together. Okay, so while we're putting this together, I just wanted to remind you in case you're new here that we have a couple of other DIY series using charger blades from the Dollar Tree on this channel, okay? So you may want to check that out um, right after this video. There's a gold uh, edition, silver edition, rose gold, turquoise, black and silver edition, you name it. So make sure to check that out as well. So this is a black and gold edition based on popular demand. And so I'm loving it so far. All right. So I can't wait for you to see this all put together and actually placed on the wall. You'll be amazed. I loved it and I hope you do love it as well. I would also love to know what other colors you would love for me to try for a charger plate wall art DIY. Um, since we're keeping up with the charger plate DIY series, so do let me know in the comments section and I will go with the one that's most popular, okay? Just like with the black and gold. So I'll be checking out the comments and I love to interact with you all in the comments section. So please, do let me know what you think down below. Alrighty, so our charger plate mirror wall decor is all set and it's time for us to hang this up on our wall. I will be using this double-sided tape from Amazon and it is easy peasy, okay? Very easy to use. And ta-da, this is our final look. I love how this turned out. I love also the fact that when you look at this physically, you cannot tell it is a charger plate mainly because of the texture that we did on the chargers using sand and which is the most um which is the part i love the most about this diy so i would love to hear your comments in the um down below so please do let me know what you think 
well that would bring us to the end of this video so if you did enjoy this video i would love it if you can hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing when next i upload similar videos like this one okay in the meantime always remember to be your best self or your fun self no matter what life throws at you thank you for watching and have a great day